fish is it? It's a guard. No, a dart. Oh, it's a dart. <laughs> <laughs> We've just come to a little spot near Horrocks. It's called Little Bay Campsite. It's deep or run, I'm pretty sure, and it's $15 a night. Just airing down because we've been told it gets pretty soft, um, the sand. And in all the wiki camp reviews, we've all we've heard of um, camper trailers getting down there, but no caravan. So I've dropped all my tyres down to 15, and then I've dropped the caravan down to 20. So we'll see how we go. And hopefully we don't get stuck and have to use the max tracks. Um, fingers crossed. So let's get into today's episode. Just got to um, Little Bay and set up and stuff. Um, beautiful spot. Just paid the ranger, as you guys would have seen, fifteen bucks in five cent coins. He There's took. A few goldies. He took it. Took it like a champ. <laughs> beautiful spot. We lucked out. So the peep. There was a, a full uh, fishing camp really set up here for a few days. Well, at least a few days, maybe even a bit longer. Um, they said, "Oh, you want this spot?" And we we'll are up. So we waited about an hour and a half for them to pack up, in anticipation of this spot, and it's. Definitely hasn't disappointed, it's beautiful, eh? Um, getting in here was a bit difficult, a bit gnarlier than um, first expected, but it just gets real tight. I wouldn't recommend anyone bringing a van in bigger than ours. We might do a little bit of fishing. Um, Sarah's just made some guac, which is good. Um, I made some what? Guac. <laughs> so grab a coldie, um, sit back, and watch us have a coldie. Cheers. have just left our camp for the morning um, we went and got coffee at the Horrocks general store it was really good so I'd recommend that if you're in town 
Um, we are now down at Bowes River, um, having a little explore, a um, little four wheel drive through the dunes, and Keelan's trying to sur find a surf break. So I think it's called Bowes, but we're not too sure. It's either oh, Bowes oops. or Bowes. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty sick. Like it's literally just like red dirt meets the like blue ocean. It's pretty cool. Um, real rugged coastline. The weather's not in our favour today. Like I think it's about 25 knot um, easterly, so it's too probably too windy to fly the drone. Um, so the next best thing is just like driving through these dunes and exploring a bit. Um, yeah, we don't know much about the area, so we're just learning as we go. So we've just had a nice little feed of some whiting, which has given us a little bit of inspiration to come down to the beach and catch some more. So um, we're going to go try our luck. go fishing um, you just throw out and all of a sudden you got dead weight big chunk of seaweed so there's no point doing that so what we're gonna do is go climb the sand dune behind where we're camping um, and have a look from there it should be a pretty specky view so let's go do that What are we doing? Climbing that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's people at the top of that now. It is huge. about to pack up so I thought I'd empty the bin bag on the back these are the new bin bags we got from Ranger I'll show you a key feature that I've touched on in other videos that I'm super impressed with that I haven't seen before um, and that's why I rate these guys bags because 
they're pretty innovative, eh? So I'll show you guys that. All you have to do is just reverse up um, to any sort of just normal wheelie bin or really any sort of bin. Um, and then these bags have this key feature where the bottom um, actually drops out of them. So with all my other bin bags, and people can relate to this, they actually have to reach in to grab and spoon out the bin, uh, the rubbish out of the bin. So um, with this, you don't have to do anything like that. You just unzip the bottom and it all falls out. So try not to hit anything. Bursting up to the bin. So let me tell you about a little tale that happened yesterday. Um, someone trying to leave camp pretty quick. I accidentally switched off the fridge power, um, the rocker switch accidentally. Luckily for us, because um, the companion fridge has a lithium inbuilt battery, it sustained itself all day. It automatically switched over to lithium bank and then kept running, kept the cabinet at about zero degrees all day. Um, so eight hours later, I discovered that I turned the fridge off. Um, it was all good. New iTech World lithium batteries had to charge that lithium battery in the fridge and it was drawing about eight amps um, last night with no solar. All night, drew about eight to nine amps. Um, woke up in the morning and it's still on 13.1 volts, which is for these iTech 120X batteries is pretty much fully charged. So it's a testament to the fridge and these sick new lithium batteries that we've put in. Okay, so that concludes today's episode. Um, we're now heading north up to Kalbarri. We're going to spend a few nights at Lucky Bay, so stay tuned for that.